Hi everyone, Karen Greenstreet here. Now we know Napoleon Hill was the first person to talk about the term mastermind alliance, um, but did you know he spoke about mastermind alliances as early as 1928? Uh, most people think his first mention was in the book Think and Grow Rich, but actually um, 10 years earlier, he wrote a book called The Law of Success. And he talks about the mastermind in that book and about it being a friendly alliance of people who want to support each other around their plans. Now the law in the law of success, um, he adds another element to this idea of a mastermind group, that these groups help to organize useful knowledge. So everyone is sharing information and sharing knowledge. And to create sort of like a virtual encyclopedia from which every member can contribute and draw information. And then he talked about this idea of a mastermind and a mastermind alliance through out many of his books and all the way up to a multi-part TV series that was on in the 1960s. And if you check on YouTube, you're bound to find it. It's a black and white video and it's excellent. And I think his part is like part two where he talks about mastermind groups. I wanna to read to you what he said. First of all, it is the principle through which you may borrow and use education, experience and influence, perhaps even the capital of other people to carry out your own plans in life. It is the principle through which you can accomplish in one year more than you could accomplish without this, this mastermind, this group, in an entire lifetime. And so the key to mastermind groups is that you're going to move forward faster with one than you could on your own. And you're going to help other people do the same thing as well. So check out this blog post about what Napoleon Hill said about mastermind groups so you can understand the influence his ideas had 100 years later on our own mastermind groups.